Hello, this is Microsoft Sven, speaking on behalf of the Enlightened Boo. I'd like to start this video with a big thanks to all the game modding communities for giving us crazy ways to play video games. Today we are going over a crazy way to play the legendary FPS classic, Duke Nukem 3D. Let's call it Duke Nukem 3D 2001. I'm giving it this title, because this is likely what Duke 3D would have been like if it was released in 2001 instead of 1996. This is not one mod, but a combination of mods. Said mods are the high resolution pack, and Duke Plus. These are just the primary mods, we are gonna use some other mods to make it even better. For those of you who are not familiar with the way Duke 32 works with mods, here's a little tutorial. Download the high resolution pack from the HRP website, then cut or copy the file you just downloaded, and paste it in your autoload folder, which is in your Duke 32 directory. Next is Duke Plus. When you download a fresh copy of Duke Plus, there will be a Duke Plus folder within the zip file, then there will be another Duke Plus folder within the Duke Plus folder. Extract this folder to your Duke 32 directory. The other mods are, number one, the Polymost Override Pack. Since we're playing Duke 3D, with both the High Resolution Pack and Duke Plus, we need a performance boost. The Polymost Override Pack replaces the new models in the HRP with the old ones, which alleviates your GPU. Most people seem to like the old models better anyway. Second, is the PSX Sounds Pack, for enhancing all the game sounds. And finally, the Roland Music Pack, which replaces the standard soundtrack with a high definition slash high quality version. Place all your mods, except Duke Plus, into your autoload folder within your Duke 32 folder. If you're using Duke 32 for the first time, I recommend downloading Duke Plus before anything else, because the primary folder in the hip already contains a copy of Duke 32. So just put all the other mods in the autoload folder within this Duke Plus folder. Now launch Duke 32. On the setup window, select the Duke Plus folder as your custom game content directory, then, be sure to enable your autoload folder. Click start, and that's it, you're off to playing Duke 3D in its funkiest form. Not only does everything have a funky, early 2000s, 3D look, but Duke Plus brings a whole bunch of crazy features to the game. Remember, how you were able to get dismembered zombie heads in blood? Well, right here in Duke 3D, you cannot pick up and throw the heads of certain enemies. Ooh, the things I do to get ahead. Actually, you can pick up and throw almost any object, like in Half-Life 2 and Black Nessa. Now you can do oiled pistols and enable extra weapons like the alien blaster pistol and the double barrel shotgun. You can even replace the Devastator with a paint SG. Duke Plus has many other features, like additional player abilities, physics editing, and changing the weather conditions in levels. It has too many settings to mention in this video, so go ahead and play with the settings yourself. To open the Duke Plus menu, hit the page up key on your keyboard, then use the WSD keys to navigate the menu. Duke Plus also comes with a community level pack. Select the Duke Plus Levels episode, and you'll be put into your hub, from which you can enter any of the community-made levels. There's a level that allows you to drive the sky car, which is the spacecraft that Duke used to get back to Earth. Yeah, that one. Most of the Duke Plus Levels are not compatible with the Polygon Renderer, so be sure to switch your render to Polymost, before you play them. So there you go. Instead of wasting $20 on Duke Nukem Forever, you can just plug these mods into Duke Nukem 3D, and have a 3D model Duke Nukem first person shooter experience which is way more fun. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, if you haven't already, thanks for watching.